All right, so we're gonna do the USC predictions today. Um, so we've got Lincoln Riley taking over duties after Clay Hilton was let go. Um, and then we've also got Caleb Williams coming in from Oklahoma. We've got a whole lot of transfers coming in to play for Lincoln Riley in this explosive offense he's gonna have this year. Um, the question marks for this team is going to be, can they stay consistent year-round? Um, USC has had issues doing that for quite a while now. Um, they've had a couple of good years here and there um, under Clay Houghton, but they just haven't been able to stay consistent. Um, that's been their biggest issue. Um, and then the defense has been absolutely horrendous. Um, that's going to be a big question mark this year, too, is I know that uh, – He's got his defensive coordinator coming in, um, Alex Grinch from Oklahoma. Um, the thing is, Alex Grinch was not that great of a defensive coordinator, so we'll just have to see what he can do with the defense there. Um, I think Oklahoma's defense was slowly improving under, under him, but not quite to what we probably were wanting to see from him. But, all right, we're going to go ahead and get into the schedule now. Um, so we got Rice as our first game. That should be an easy win. Um, shouldn't have any problems with that one. They'll probably put 50 points or something like that. Be over at halftime. All right, next game is going to be away at Stanford. Um, Stanford has had USC's number the past few years. Um, they just, something about Stanford, man. They just, they've been able to beat USC consistently in the past few years. And um, unfortunately for them, they've fallen off of a cliff. David Shaw is probably within his last year or a couple years there. Um, he's not going to last probably much longer, which is a shame because I'm a big fan of his as a coach. Um, I really liked him, but he just he couldn't keep the consistency there. But, um, yeah, I don't think that Stanford's going to be able to keep up in this one. Um, they're just they're not good. Um, so this one should be an easy win for them. All right, next game is going to be Fresno State. Um, Fresno State is at home. They're going to have a home game against Fresno State. Excuse me. Um, Fresno State, um, they were a good team last year. They've actually had some pretty good teams um, the past few years. They've won their conference and everything. They've gone to good bowl games. Um, they've given them some Power 5 teams some problems the past few years as well. Um, this is a, I, think, I think Fresno State might give them a little bit of trouble, but USC should pull away pretty easily at some point in the game, but I think they might go into this one underestimating Fresno State, but it might give them like a little scare at first, but USC has too much firepower. They'll pull away. So we're going to start off 3-0, and and then let's see. We're going to go to our next away game. It's going to be against Oregon State. Oregon State has given people issues in the past couple years uh, in Corvallis. Um, the Beavers... They're not that great of a team. They're kind of, they've gotten better. They're more middle tier team now in the conference, but I don't think they're gonna have the horses to keep up in this one either. Um, USC will probably outscore them. Um, probably should be pretty easy win at some point in this one for them as well. So they're gonna go to 4-0. and And then they're gonna go back home to face Arizona State, the Sun Devils. Herm Edwards um, going to be coming in with his Sun Devil squad. We'll just have. To, they've been they've been consistent the past few years with winning at least seven or eight games. Is it been going to a few bowl games? But they haven't been as great as what we thought they might be. Um, they uh, they play a really. I think they play a pro style offense. They he brought in that NFL mindset to bring in the. That play calling, his playbook, defensive playbook, all that. Um, I think, I think Arizona State at this point. I think you they keep they catch USC sleeping a little bit in this one, and I think that this is their first loss. Um, I've just something about it. I don't know why. I just have a gut feeling that Arizona State's going to pull this one off, even though the USC is at home. Um, I don't know something about it, man. But um, we'll move on. That's going to be 4-1. and one. We're going to go to Washington State at home, back-to-back -back home games. Washington State, you can never tell them. They're up and down constantly. Um, they had Mike Leach for a while, and he did pretty good there for a while and then moved on. But 
I think they've lost their coach last year or something. I don't remember. Something to do, I think, with the booster shot he was refusing to get. I can't remember, but something to do with that. Washington State's not that great of a program right now. Um, this should be an easy win as well. So they're going to go to 5-1. and one, And then they're going to go to their away game against Utah. Um, Utah was a powerhouse last year. They were really, really good. Um, won the Pac-12, beat Oregon twice. I mean, they absolutely throttled Oregon both times. It was embarrassing for the Ducks. But Utah coming up with all, a lot of talent. They're going to be a, a good team once again. I think Utah pulls this one off as well. Um, I think this is going to be a high-scoring game, and Utah outscores USC in this one on the road. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give USC their second loss of the season. They're going to be 5-2 and two going into their bye week. And then they're going to be on the road against Arizona. Arizona is absolutely terrible. Um, they're one of the worst Power 5 teams in America. This should be an easy win, on their, even though it's on the road. All right, next game is going to be home against Cal. Cal is not that great of a team either. Um, this should probably be another easy win. I don't see any issues here. Then we're going to move on to our next home game against Colorado, the Buffaloes. They've been another team that's been up and down all year. I mean, throughout the few years. Um, they've been okay at some times, but other times they've been absolutely terrible. Um, I, don't, I don't see any issues in this one either for USC. They should be able to blow this team out. And the next game will be against UCLA on the road. This one's going to be an interesting one against uh, Chip Kelly. Um, this should turn into a shootout, in my opinion. Um, I had a lot of belief in Chip Kelly when he went there um, with that offense he runs. I thought that he was going back to his roots and knew what he was going to be doing with going back there to the Pac-12. Unfortunately, it's not really panned out the way I thought it was going to for him. Um, no telling how long he has left there if they don't get things rolling soon. Um, I think USC can win this one, um, but it, this should be a really fun game. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be one I'll be tuning in and watching. This is going to be a really interesting one. All right, last game of the season is going to be home against Notre Dame. Um, Notre Dame is going to be a really good team this year, despite what people think. Um, they have a lot of good talent on that team. It's going to be they're going to be trying to get to the back to the playoffs this year. Um, USC, I just. I don't know, man. This one could go either way, but I'm leaning towards the Fighting Irish in this one. Um, I think Notre Dame hands USC their third loss of the season and ends it out um, with the Trojans going 9-3. and three. I wanted to try to find a way to give USC this win since they're at home, but I just can't. Um, I'm going with Notre Dame in this one. So, yeah, I've got USC going 9-3. and three. Um that's, three, that's two conference losses and one out-of-conference loss. Um, that's pretty good from where they were. Um, so, yeah, definitely a big improvement from what they were at, at, at um, last year. Um, but, yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and su uh, sub subscribe. Sorry, I can't talk today. Have a good day.